Steve, how are you, buddy? So thanks for sending along here. Let's take a look. Um, get you positioned a bit better in there. So posture looks good. You know, I'd, I'd be mindful of this right arm of yours. It looks like it could be a little dominant. See how I can see the left arm underneath the right arm? And if I go to the address position on the side, you can see that. Take a look how, if I toggle this around a bit, you can kind of see. Oh, well, I got a fast swing. There we go. That right there is my left forearm bump. You know, so I've got my shoulder, my right shoulder a little bit lower. Not much, though. That's not the main main issue here. I like your posture change. It looks good. When you get it to the top, I have no issue with this. Now, it starts to get a little tiny bit over swung. Okay, so let's kind of go back to this, to me here. Whoa. Go back to the top. It's going to look too different there. Very playable in both cases. Now, what I want you to be aware of is just how, so as I've got my spine angle here, and the, you know, this mo this rotation of my swing, this club's going to try to work into that perpendicular of that behavior as it comes down and collects a golf ball, okay? So this angle, you've got this thing kind of propped on the ground, so it's a little bit different. So here's your spine angle, which looks nice. Here is the perpendicular to that. And as this club comes down, right, it's coming down a little steep and over the top and outside, so you're going to hit some kind of a, you know, pull down and across. So let's come in the studio and let me explain. Hopefully we can put this to bed for you. All right, so grab a club here. That's like my old one iron from back in the day. It's just basically an ornament now. But so you're looking good. So be mindful of this, this right arm. So what I'm trying to illustrate is if you look on the right screen, you can see how if I want to be sort of dominant with my right arm, I can't be. Or if I want my if I want to see that little muscle on my left forearm above my right arm, I can as well. Okay, so the feelings of this, you're getting it to the top. Much better posture here. I think you look great. And then as we start to rotate, you know, the golf club, if if it's left alone, you know, what's what's it going to do? It's going to fall behind me there. Okay, so I go back to the top and do that again, just because it's kind of fun to watch. Might make a revolution golf tip too, and that's kind of funny. If I go to the top of this swing, I just kind of leave it there, right? And now I'm going to hit one of these and kind of explain what's happening. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm a little lucky here. So face on at the top. You're doing a good job. Now I'm gonna let go of this golf club. And where's this golf club gonna go? It's Mother Nature is letting that thing shallow behind me, isn't it? I'll do that a couple times just because that looks cool. There's a club shallowing as I Go ahead and hit one now. As I actually hit one, it's going to look different naturally, but it'll show you kind of highlight highlight a little bit about wrists versus um, you know what's going to happen with the arms. So I think I'm about to hit one here. So I'm in this condition where I've got the club head, and over on this side, you can see that it doesn't look too different there. There's you know just the shallowing of this event. And then, you know, rotation inspires that club to swing out and collect the golf ball. But what I'm not doing here, pal, what I'm not doing when I do this, okay, I'm not trying to get the golf club square early. So this is me trying to take it to this target line out there early. I'm going to let it, if my, if, my, if my fingers are strong and my wrists are supple, when I rotate, this golf club, you know, will start to go into the force of rotation. And if I rotate around there, that club slings up this way. My fingers aren't doing it. Well, when you assemble a great top of the backswing position there, and you start to rotate, this club 
wouldn't want to go this way unless you power it this way. It's going to want to go and drop, okay? So think about how inert weight at the end of this shaft will react to me rotating. It's not going to want to go this way unless I physically force it to. So if you get to the top and you just drop the golf club a few times, get it up here, let it drop. Now, the drop really is a result of me having strong fingers and mobile wrists. If my wrists are stiff, the club's going to go out. I'm going to respond by hitting down and across it. If my fingers are strong but my wrists are mobile, now the club head is going to want to fall into that force of rotation. So anyway, brother, hope that helps, okay?